This is Rebecca's monologue from the play Immaculate by Oliver Lansley. Hi. Look, there's something I need to say. I probably should have told you earlier, but I didn't know if it was going anywhere and now I think it is. Or I thought it was. But now you're pregnant, so I probably shouldn't tell you anyway because stress is bad for the baby. <laughs> Not that you're keeping it, right? God, you're huge. Are those my boots? Anyway. Michael and I are together. We're a couple. Sorry I didn't tell you. I didn't plan it. I was out and I saw Michael and said hello and we got to talking and it came out that he always quite fancied me but couldn't do anything because we were best friends, obviously. And I quite fancied him too, which is why I was sometimes a bit of a bitch towards him because I think subconsciously I fancied him and I always used to talk to Ed about him and that's why Ed never wanted to come out with us in a foursome because he thought I fancied Michael which I didn't or I didn't I don't think I did but it turns out I did because I fancy him now anyway we weren't going to do anything because you two had just broken up and I knew how pissed off you'd be then we said, um, well, maybe we should just have a kiss, you know, while we're both single. Get it out of our system. So, we had a kiss. And then the kiss carried on and things and things. We ended up having sex, which I'm not proud of, but it was good. But it was bad because the condom broke <laughs> and I had to get the morning after pill, which was fucking awful. And I was terrified because I, I thought I was going to have a baby. You know how much I fucking hate babies. Because that dream I have with all the babies that have my mum and dad's faces and shit and piss and crying. I can't stop them. Also, the pill makes me feel really ill. And that was the the day that we were supposed to go to Blue Water um, to try and find some shoes to go with that. Uh, brown skirt you got from hens and i said i couldn't come because i was sick and you were pissed off and i wanted to tell you but i couldn't i felt really guilty and i cried and then i called michael and told him he was really good about it which made me feel better and we had decided that we weren't going to see each other again, but I was crying on the phone, so he came over and then he ended up staying the night again. But we didn't have sex, we just cuddled, and then it went from there. But now you tell me that you're pregnant, and you say that you haven't had sex with anyone since Michael... Which means that he must be the father. But you don't want to tell me because I made such a fuss about what a fucker he was after he dumped you. Which means you're lying to me. And he's lying to me. And I'm lying to you. And you're fucking him and I'm fucking him. And he's fucking you and me. And I'm going to lose my best friend and my boyfriend. <laughs> Not that I call him my boyfriend, but technically he is. And I'll be helpless and hopeless and friendless and loveless and die old and alone with thread veins and bladder weakness and a house full of cats. Anyways. House full of cats who?